Hello Visual Effects people, I'm AK, this is Fluid Ninja Live 1.2 and we are going to check how to paint persistent structures. Let's start with level 23 where we are demonstrating volume fog. And if I press play, I could walk in the middle of this foggy field. Um, and if I'm drawing here with the mouse cursor, I could see that I could influence things. But still, uh, it doesn't look very persistent and it looks negative, like I'm erasing the clouds. So what should we do? First, um, to have the chance to influence all these things, I have to switch on the preset manager, which is located uh, usually located at the beginning of the levels. And at the details panel, I'm checking this flag. So I'm going full screen, and here we go. Same thing as before, but with the preset manager on. And so um, let's see what we have here. Uh, looks like our velocity and density is built up by textures. So uh, if I would like to paint things and not just erase things, by the way, uh, have you noticed? Um, the brush is inverted, that's why I'm erasing, and the character does the same thing, and is colliding objects doing the same thing. So, um, first I'm switching off these predetermined textures by setting them to not defined. Here we go with the area empty, and I'm setting the mouse cursor to positive, <laughs> and suddenly Everything starts to brush like hell, which is no good. No good for us. So I'm duplicating this preset, saying volume fog paint. Yep. I have painted the preset and uh, I'm exiting gameplay selecting the simulation container and switching off interaction because I don't need the pawn and I don't need these objects so um, container selected and going to live interaction and here we go overlap based interaction I'm switching it off and that's all I'm starting the ah by the way and I'm setting the preset to the previously created painter. I'm selecting Ninja Live component, going to Live Generic, and here we go, we have this default volume fork shrine thing, and I'm just starting to type in paint, and here we go, volume fork paint. So probably what we have now is like an empty area, and interaction is switched off, so objects and pawn are not doing a thing, but I could draw here with my mouse cursor. That's a good thing. And so the problem remains my structures are not persistent. Well, before that, just have a look. This is our canvas. This rectangle. Uh, and this rectangle or cuboid object is the interaction volume. And I could um, switch on the trace mesh. Well, that is going to be our canvas. So imagine that we are drawing there. Returning to the preset manager and the play. Uh, all I need to do is to reconfigure because these settings uh, were inherited from the previous setup. So uh, size, hmm, that's fine. Density is a bit strong. Noise, fine, persistence, that's the key parameter here. I'm setting it to the highest possible value, 1, which means uh, my brush strokes are not going to fade out. And I'm setting drag to 1 as well, and puncture 1 as well. And let's see what we have. Uh -huh. Slowly, I'm starting to draw with a soft brush, and I'm drawing these um, two... Uh, arches like the smoke is coming out of this shrine and I'm drawing more arches and then I'm shaping the smoke flow back 
like a hard shape. So here we go, or volumetric smoke painted. Yeah, I do something like, let's please go around these stones. And fine. So uh, let's say I would like to conserve this structure, this persistent structure. All I have to do is to go down on the preset manager and save the paint buffer because I have painted density and velocity. So when I click on this you will not see the pop-up window because that's how these silly capture programs work but believe me there will be a, a window uh, which is saving the density buffer and the velocity buffer and I'm done. So I'm uh, <coughs> I'm exiting the gameplay and uh, well yeah basically I didn't even have to exit I'm just uh, I just have to reload uh, these textures which I have saved sorry so uh, velocity here is this thing called pain buffer and density from bitmap and here we go so probably I should see something but uh, this is probably need to be tweaked like I'm <laughs> ah yeah first <laughs> the density is like offsetted and tiled so I'm setting these values back to default uh -huh. here are the arches I have been drawing and uh, velocity probably also needs to be reset mm -hmm. a little bit more please well yeah that's fine so we have our shapes and we have our velocity set oh sorry <laughs> the velocity map was also tiled and now I could set back the strength a little bit mm -hmm. and now I'm saving the preset once again and just to make it like a test if it works or not I'm starting uh, the gameplay from scratch and here we go or persistent structure density and velocity painted saved using the save paint buffer function and reloaded as a bitmap and tweaked a little bit and here we go so uh, that is the way how we paint persistent structures and just to practice the whole thing we are going to do this again with volumetric clouds so this was level 23 with volumetric fog and I'm going to the cloud level and I'm gonna do the same thing let's see how this looks like so we have like an object and it is painting for us and say I don't want this object to paint for me but I want to do it on my own yep uh -huh. so I'm just drawing these strokes on the canvas an important difference compared to the volumetric uh, fog that here in this case the canvas and the target area which is the volumetric cloud is detached so I'm painting here and the result is appearing there up in the sky later on I'm gonna explain why this is happening in theory we would be able to paint on the sky as well but it needs to be tweaked a little bit uh, anyway so my structure is not persistent and so <clears throat> is vanishing we're gonna do the same thing like enabling the preset manager on the details panel and uh, <clears throat> with the preset manager on we are starting to tweak this uh, preset doing the same thing like high persistency um, low density brush with a much lower dragging volume and a higher puncture and let's see what we have uh-huh well yeah kind of 
working this vortex like structure and so what if I would like to uh, save this for later use well I do the same thing save the paint buffer again you're not going to see the pop-up window but believe me it's there I have saved the velocity and the density map and I'm exiting the thing oh by the way it is uh, it keeps swirling and it keeps swirling because the render buffers which the whole system is using and located in the volumetric subdirectory well these render buffers are conserving uh, this information but as soon as I quit Unreal or restart another simulation these this information is going to vanish so um, here in the presets directory I have my paint buffer thing uh-huh well it looks really crude <laughs> that's what we have painted and here's uh, here's the belonging velocity well let's see how this functions if I load it back to the preset so um, <clears throat> I'm just starting uh, to play gameplay again and here um, velocity filled and density filled and I have to reset offset and tiling both for velocity and both for density and I'm setting it a bit stronger uh -huh. Well, maybe a bit too strong <laughs> and I'm also amplifying the velocity well slowly slowly it starts to flow how about making it a bit more stronger more stronger I said oh yeah maybe a bit too strong anyways so we have this vortex like structure here and I'm saving the preset and it's done and so when I restart the thing uh, it's initializing uh, with this uh, setup as a texture and let me uh, change this to a more dense cloud structure by selecting the volume cloud uh, uh, actor going to details and I'm setting it to the storm thing uh -huh. it's much wilder and that's it so we have we have made it successfully like painted this structure velocity and density and here is our persistent structure we don't necessarily have to paint our own textures like by the way if if you don't like this uh, high speed noise and flow you could tweak that as well but at a different place let's say I would like to tweak this noise and I'm just uh, minimizing the preset manager uh, exiting to the unreal editor while, while the simulation is still on and I'm going to tutorial per volumetrics and checking uh, the materials volume cloud and uh, here is the storm thing that I would like to edit the problem is that I if I drag it uh, and detach it to a pop-up material uh, you are not going to see it so <laughs> I double click and uh, I have to edit it full screen otherwise you won't be able what I, uh, to see what I'm doing and I'm simply adjusting here a noise flow speed so we have these large groups like color noise and cloud parameters and I'm in the noise and I'm setting down the flow speed to a much lower volume and as a result our cloud structure is becoming um, a slowly flowing thing which is beautiful in my opinion yeah uh, how about having a look at the same structure from another angle well this structure is really large so what I do here is uh, click this uh, speed multiplier and send it to 500 so I'm going to fly with extreme speed above the clouds and see how my structure looks like from above well that's how it looks like 
<coughs> it's a kind of a swirly structure. Uh, but don't forget that we are in the editor. And if I press play, the whole thing uh, starts to build up and the simulation is smashing this predefined texture. So um, that's how it looks like. Um, shortly, that's uh, the thing about painting uh, cloud structures. And just to remind you, I'm going to level 2A and visiting a container. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a bit lost here, but in the word outliner, Ah, yeah. Uh, <coughs> I'm visiting a container with, uh, which is demonstrating the persistent brush structure thing. Uh -huh. This is so we are on level two, stage nine. And if I press play, you could see that this object is drawing with a persistent brush. And if I switch on the preset manager, I'm arriving. to the same uh, situation. You see, uh, uh, if I set brush persistency to a low value, it is immediately vanishing. And if I set it to one, basically what this object is drawing remains there. So uh, I just wanted to show you that it's not about volumetric fog or clouds. Um, yeah, let me remove this guy. You could paint your own structures in any case, like I do right now, and you could uh, uh, apply different materials on it and save the paint buffers. So that's how you paint things in Ninja Live. That's it. Uh, shortly, that's it. And it was a bit long, but hopefully helped you. Uh, thank you for your patience and see you next time.